Just hopa. Hopa. That's a Greek thing, right? It is. Yeah. All right. Yeah. If you're bored with the same old thing for dinner or maybe appetizers, Greek food. Yeah, it might be something that's never been served in your kitchen until now. Chef Jen, known as Jenny with the Good Eats, is dishing out the details and letting us in on the recipe for Greek meatballs. Good morning to you. And I don't know how they say that in Greek, but good morning. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good morning. <laughs> there you go. That works for us. So, so Greek meatballs. I mean, you think Italian food when sure. you think of meatballs, yeah. but yeah. Greek, huh? Yes, Greek. The best spices on the planet. I'm a little biased because I cook so much Greek food, but I think it's the best. And this is kind of a special request from Todd, so we had to do it. <laughs> this was a special request from Todd? Maybe. So next yes, we're going to make Bloody Marys yes. next. <laughs> yes, we can do Bloody Marys next for sure. Um, okay. We can do Greek Bloody Marys. Why not? <laughs> oh, there we go. Sure, put the meatball right on top. Well, I do a lot of the cooking in the house, but yes. I never cook Greek. Yeah. You know, I, it's just, I, don't, I don't really know, so I'm always looking for simple ways to incorporate, as she said, those awesome spices into our dinners. So well, how'd you come up with this recipe? Yeah. Yeah, so this was the recipe that was actually on Food Network. So this is what helped me win $10,000. So <laughs> it's a decent recipe. I mean, it's good. <laughs> so we'll actually get right into it and start making it. So right here, I have some lean ground beef. So when I was on Supermarket Stakeout, I had lean ground beef. I had some vegetables and, you know, spices. That's about it. So I had to work with it. I had to make the best of what I had. So. I'm gonna go ahead and mix in some green pepper, some red onion, and some chopped garlic here. And these are all raw. So what's gonna happen is these will cook down with the meat and it's just gonna help make it more moist. Then I'm gonna add in some parsley. Then I'm gonna add in all my nice Greek seasoning. So I have some salt, black pepper, allspice, and oregano. So you're gonna get some nice earthy tones. You're gonna get some more of those warming spices in there. And then this is actually Greek yogurt. Oh. So I did not have any eggs to make this on the show. So hmm. this was my binder. And then I'm going to put in a little bit of chickpea flour just to kind of keep that Mediterranean flavor. You can use breadcrumbs, anything like that. But this is actually gluten free as well, which is nice. So then we're just going to start mixing it up. And I'm actually going to put a little bit of olive oil in there, too, because this meat is so lean. That is one so thing. Is, that, is this a trick? Up. I got. I got to yeah. ask that because that's. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I literally. I made. I was making meatballs for spaghetti yeah. meatballs last week, and and they always dry out. Yeah. You know, no matter what I do, they always dry yes. out. How do, you, how do you keep them moist? So one of my tips is definitely adding all these fresh vegetables to it to help release the moisture. Um, another, of course, is having that binder. So I put in the Greek yogurt hmm. and then also the olive oil. So it's all going to depend on kind of your fat content of the meat you're using, and because this is a sirloin, it's super lean. So I'm just gonna roll it up into a nice size there. You can do this with a tablespoon at home too. Well, it looks like and the, I'm the kids could help, it, right? Oh, absolutely. Kids could help with yes, this. Yes, yeah. definitely, definitely. So I am rolling it in a little bit of chickpea flour too, because this mm. is gonna help me brown it. So and you're another that on thing the too. Okay. I don't do that. I need to do that. Yeah. 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 So ah. put a little bit of flour on it like that. And then what happens is as it's cooking too, that's going to form a crust. And then that crust is going to keep in your moisture too. Love it. It's all kinds of ways to make sure they don't dry out on you. And I always do them in the pan, pan fry method. Huh. And I always do it with a cast iron skillet too. So we'll walk over to the stove here and get these on. Now, before, so you, went on, sorry, before you went on the show, had you ever made yeah. these before? Um, I do make them all the time, actually. Oh, okay. So I make them for clients a lot. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're going to drop the them like in the that. cast iron. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was curious. Go to what, go to what, go to what you yes. know. Exactly. You have to kind of go back to those things that you're used to doing. And, you know, when you have some of those ingredients where you're like, I can possibly pull it off, you just go with it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Just make the best of it. <laughs> Absolutely. So these are going to start to cook and they'll brown on one side. And then you just gently flip them over, keep rotating them. Just get nice brownness all over. And if you're a little nervous about them cooking all the way through, I always say pop them in like a 350 degree oven for like five to 10 minutes. So not too long, just finish them out. And you can work with uh, batches in these too. So I don't want to overcrowd my pan so that they start to steam because that's when they start to turn like gray. They're not very appetizing. So you want to give them plenty of room to do their thing and caramelize the outside. Awesome. Well, we've run short on time, and then, Jen, but I, I Yeah, I I'm going to actually... I'll show you the finished product yeah, we gotta right see here. This. We got to see it. Boom. Look at that. Oh, so these oh, are goodness. Greek meatballs. Oh, put those <laughs> that's, yes. that's, that's over a Greek salad there. So you can do that as an entree. 
and then we have this little appetizer. So this probably looks very familiar from the show. So it's our meatballs over the tzatziki with pickled red onion. So lots Stop. of ways you can utilize these. Oh, I want those. Just bring, I wish you were here, Jen. I know. I wish you were here. <laughs> I, miss you. I know. I wish I was there too. I miss you too. Thank you. For more information, go to JennyWithGoodEats.com. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for uh, cooking for us. <laughs> <laughs> yes.